fuck, what's up, dude? It's been too long. Yeah, I don't know, man. It sucks. I'm just living hotel to hotel. None of these guys care about what I'm selling. I just want to make a quick buck. I just want to... I don't know. I feel like I'm never around to make an actual difference in people's lives, you know? I'm never there when someone needs help jumping their car or carrying their groceries. I'm never there when someone needs their life saved or they lose something important. I don't know, I just need... I just need something to happen. At this point, if aliens came and tried to abduct me, I don't think I resist. I just go with them. It's gotten that bad. Dude, don't worry about it. You're overthinking it. Do you really think you need to risk it all jumping someone's car? It's red to black, right? No, I guess not. And personally, I wouldn't touch another person's groceries. That's just a recipe for disaster. And do you mean like save someone choking? Maybe. Can you even do the Heimlich or whatever? <laughs> Precisely. And no offense, bro, but like, what makes you so abductable? Insufficient sample. Come on! Look, bro, let me tell you a little story of yours, Moot. A while back, I was cruising along the coast of Chile when I met this beautiful Chilean. She's all like, what's your name? I feel like I'm never around to make an actual difference in people's lives, you know? Thankfully, I almost immediately stumble upon a small cave where I take shelter, 
meeting a family of wolves who take me in as their own. They took care of me for seven days and seven nights while the search was ongoing, teaching me the way of El Lobo. Which brings me to my point. You need to start living like a wolf. Itchy, but brave. Unkind, but fierce. And daring, but scrappy. You know what I mean? Hello? Bounce? You there, buddy? Bounce? Bounce? Uh...